So Finn, what is the most important challenge in education right now? I think the most important challenge in education right now is, is, is one is what to conserve in general, what we need to pass on to, to future generations. And the other one is an element of, of critical awareness of what it is that we are doing. Um, and it is basically here that I think mindfulness can, can help us to, to pay better attention to what's going on. And therefore, we can also know better and be more qualified to take the decisions of what we want to pass on to future generations. And why is mindfulness so important in our life? I think it's important perhaps more today than, than earlier because there's so many distractions. Um, it's, it's easy for us to, every time there's a, a moment of boredom or things that we don't like, uh, instead of trying to reflect on it or staying with the emotions, staying with the thoughts, we can easily escape from it through our mobiles or televisions or, or the internet. Then it becomes more and more difficult for us actually to pay attention to what's going on in our lives and when we're working, when we're with other people. So, so I think for that reason it's, it's also become more popular for us in some way to stop up, breathe and, and be aware of, of what we're doing and, and where we are right now. What brought mindfulness into your life? Oh, s several things. Uh, first of all, a, a curiosity to, to see if it had anything to offer. Uh, for me, particularly in, in the way of, of living a life that was even better. Or what is a life worth living? Um, so in that sense, I, I was curious to, to, to see what it was all about and, and try the practices. Um, and then at the same time, I was also working with uh, helping other people, uh, dealing with some of their problems in their lives. Uh, and, and for that reason, of course, I was curious to see if there was anything out there that I could, could use and, and be inspired by. Why are you the best at what you do? You never know if you're the best and, and I'm, I'm not sure that I would like to, to measure myself in, in that sense. But but I think that one thing that makes me a good teacher or, or in some way to, to help and guide people is, one, first of all, that I care, that I care about them. Uh, second of all is that, that it, it, it's never about me. Uh, so I don't need to be that much in, in focus. Uh, it, for me, it's easy to, to step aside and let the other one in some way flourish or let the other one's problems emerge and, and see what we can, can, can do about it. 